This video is brought to you by the Turtle Flakes Podcast. Turtle Flakes, the tasty breakfast treat that tastes just like pizza. Prepare to get shell-shocked. Cowabunga, dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka Batbomb82, and welcome to another episode of Totally Tubular Turtle Tuesday, the show on my channel where I take a look at everything TMNT related. So for this episode, I'll be taking a look at the Mega Construct Series 3, Leonardo. Now, taking a look at the front, we can see that the figure is showcased on your standard Mega Constructs blister card packaging. Turning the box around, we can see images of all the other minifigures from this wave. So with the box out of the way, let's crack this figure open and see what we have inside. Alright guys, now let's take a closer look at Leonardo. Now this is a figure, man, that was kind of a pain in the butt to find. Now, I finally just recently found him, um, and I've actually seen him in stores several times, uh, but from what I've noticed, on every figure that I've found, on separate occasions, mind you, uh, the belt has been torn. Uh, so I don't know if you guys have seen that a lot, but I've seen it quite a bit. And the, and the belt on this figure is like a rubbery type of material, and it's pretty thin, so I'm assuming that's fairly common. Uh, so you might be careful with, with when you're picking one up uh, to look for the torn belt, or even for like the pads and whatnot for that matter. But I finally found one that isn't torn, and I'm freaking very happy with this. This is very cool. Uh, this figure is a good example of why I'm becoming such a big fan of what Mega Constructs is doing with their mini minifigures and whatnot. They are separating themselves from companies like Lego so much, and they're doing it so well. This figure is based on the comic book version of Leonardo, the color version, which we would normally see on, like, the covers of comic books and whatnot. Uh, and this just looks very cool. You can see how, like, it has all the painted, like, cross hatching and whatnot to show it, make it look like more like comic book artwork and whatnot. I just think it's very, very cool. Even on the shell, uh, it looks very nice. Uh, one thing about the shell uh, that I've noticed, uh, compared to, like, some of the other figures that we've gotten, uh, that, that are using like this pretty much this mold uh, the shell is was uh, like a die cast metal this one's just plastic uh, but the paint apps just run all the way down it's really detailed for being such a tiny figure I mean you can see how small it is in my hands I mean it's so little even the, the weapons are fully painted with a nice bright silver with the red handle I mean that's more paint than we get on a lot of like uh, more modern turtles from like playmates and whatnot so that's it's really really cool uh, we get you standard stand uh, with just Leonardo printed right there nice uh, like a neon lime green uh, brick right there that holds them on so I'm assuming they're gonna do the other turtles uh, in this style like this comic book style which I'm all for so hopefully that does happen and it's not just Leonardo so I have to round out the whole team in this style which would be very very cool uh, what I really, really do like is that we actually do get an interchangeable bandana. We do get his blue bandana, so which is more a little more uh, like based on the cartoon and what people may be uh, more used to. So you can kind of just pry this off, and you can see his eyes right there, which is pretty interesting. Uh, and then you can pop that on like so, and boom! If and you could have him with his blue bandana if that's more your desired look, which I think is very, very cool. Now, if they, I wish they would have had a second one because I would have bought a second one just to have him display with a blue bandana and another one with a red bandana. But this is the only one they had there, uh, so I picked this up. And yeah, that, that, looks, that looks awesome. The fact that they gave us display options with that, just the, the bandana alone, really changes the whole look of the figure, in my opinion. Uh, but I'll most likely be displaying it with the red bandana uh, just to keep it more of like a, the classic covers of those old comic books and whatnot, uh, just for that reason alone. So, oops. So, anyways, that's really, really cool. So let's take a look at the articulation. So the head is on a ball joint, does roll around, does turn left and right, up and down, pivot, lots of good motion in there. Arms and go full 360, go out, bend at the elbow, rotation at the elbow, rotation at the wrist, 
we get like ball hinge like joints at the legs we kick forward backwards uh, not really out a whole lot we get a single bend at the knee rotation at the knee and rotation at the ankle so for being such a tiny figure a little mini fig like this there's a ton of articulation in there and again that's one of those things that just really makes me fall in love with these mega constructs uh, figures more and more and more and I cannot wait to get the rest of them so if you can find them I know he's kind of difficult to find but I think he is definitely a must get so for a quick size comparison here he is standing next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool figure as well as a DCUC Batman figure and for your Mega Constructs comparison, here he is standing next to two other Leonardo minifigures from my collection. And just for fun, here he is standing next to Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the Mega Constructs Series 3 Leonardo. Now overall, I think this is one awesome figure. I absolutely love what Mega Constructs is doing with all of their minifigures. The amount of detail they were able to get in in such a tiny little piece is incredible and reassures me that I will definitely be picking up a ton more. With all these things, make for one totally tubular minifigure. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Cowabunga dudes and dudettes. And stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.